Hello and welcome to this week's episode of The Graham Show. I am thrilled and delighted to have with me today Kara Lindsay. Hello. The star of Broadway's Newsies. Wow. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so for much for being me. here. Absolutely. So you're making your Broadway debut in a starring role in a hit musical on Broadway. Are you spoiled yet? <laughs> wow, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Um, no, I think when you just said that starring in a Broadway show, it still shocks me <laughs> because it's, I guess it still hasn't hit me yet. I mean, I, I, it's unbelievable. I still pinch myself and I was in two other shows that were potential Broadway shows Right. and, you know, we got our hopes up and we were really excited and then, um, and then it didn't happen. Um, so when, when Newsies came around, um, you know, people talked about it, but the producers, Tom Schumacher, they didn't say that we were going to Broadway. So our hopes weren't necessarily up, but then we came to Broadway, and I was like, oh my God, it's actually happening. Do you think they knew all along? I don't know. I, I truly don't know. Um, but they, they were very smart about the way they brought it to Broadway. Was there ever a point in the, I mean, you guys started in New Jersey at Paper Mill Playhouse. Mm -hmm. Was there ever a point when they were, you know, the buzz was happening about Broadway that, that you kind of had to sit down with yourself and say, let's not get too excited because oh, we've been through this two times yeah. and it hasn't happened. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, that was hard. It was Lone Star Love and then Little House on the Prairie. And with Lone Star, there was a marquee up at the Belasco mm -hmm. and then it didn't happen. And that turned into a bit of a That was a lot saga. of drama. That was my first professional job. And um, we kicked Randy Quaid out of the union. Mm -hmm. And I had just joined the union. Who's Dennis I was Quaid's like, brother. D yes. And it was absolutely insane. I was like, is this what the business is like? So tell us a little bit about your character, Catherine Plummer. Yeah, she, well, she's brand new from, you know, the movie in 1992. There right. was this one girl who fell in love with Jack, but it, she was barely there, practically non-existent. And um, Harvey Firestein, who wrote the book for the musical, he wanted to make the love story more prominent and kind of add another layer of, you know, women's women fighting for their rights, because mm -hmm. that was huge at the turn of the century, sure. which is when this takes place. Um, so Catherine Plummer um, sort of takes place of the Brian Denton role in the movie, mm -hmm. who is the reporter who writes the, the article about the newsboys strike when they start forming that union. So she, you know, she's well off and she's young and just starting out in the workforce and trying to prove herself. The only jobs that women really got in terms of journalism was for, um, for shows like little fluffy shows and um, uh, fashion and stuff like that that was very woman-y, sure. woman-like. Yeah. So she was trying to branch out and, you know, um, do the big issues that the men were reporting on and um, she kind of sneaks behind people's backs. And, um, and does that. So I based this on Nellie Bly, who was um, a journalist back in 1899, and she was a fighter. She was fearless, and I, I read a bunch of books about her, and it's all true, and it's hard to believe. So when people are like, was there even a woman reporter back then who would be able to do that? Absolutely, and then some. Like, this was not even close to what women did back then. Was Harvey referencing this character? Um, or, was this I a, think or was this an individual that you came across independently? I came across it um, just, you know, I with, okay. So the movie, um, it was based on truth. So people, the, our cast members were able to pull from that in some way, mm -hmm. you know, even though they are a lot different, they can, there's something to visually see and sort of pull from. But with Catherine, there was nothing in the movie that was even related to Catherine. You know, I was like, well, besides Brian Denton, which it's totally different male, female back in 1899. Sure. So I was like, what do I, do? okay, I'll look up, you know, women reporters back in 1899 and who was young who was 18 and working. She was 18. She was 18 wow. and working. She was unbelievable. She was in Philadelphia and then later on when she was 20 or 21 or something, she came to New York and actually worked for Pulitzer. She demanded that no he kidding. see her. You're, you're originating this role, so how much of it do you feel like they were writing for you and how much of it was, was kind of already in place before you came into? Well, there was a lot in place and Harvey has such a distinct language uh -huh. you know he's so spunky and funny and right. quirky and that's perfect for a woman at that time she has to be sassy in some way in order to like stand up to these men and boys um, 
So I think, you know, there was a lot there because of who he is and how brilliant he is with comedy and just making sense of personalities. Um, and then once we switched to Paper Mill, um, or switched to Broadway from Paper Mill, um, I think he did, he, you know, it, what's great about starting a new script with the writers and with the creative team is that they will build things around you and listen to what you have to say mm -hmm. and, th you know, work through different moments because we, Jeremy and I did have questions about certain things, but Harvey's like, just trust it, you know, just let, let's live in this for a moment and don't, don't like comment on it, just be. And that was the rooftop scene for a little, a little while. And then it was like, duh, of course it makes sense. Yeah. You know, he's, he's seeing it and he knows what it's supposed to be. And he, he did change some things. Um, so it's, it's really awesome and really rewarding to like, to have it be, you know, based around what you're bringing to the table. And that's, that's, that's like no other experience, truly. We'll be right back with Carol Lindsay to talk about how she got started in the theater. Stay Ooh. tuned. <laughs>